So what is a solar battery? In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how solar batteries work, how to know whether or not you need one, and which ones we think are the top choices available in 2024. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 12 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find product reviews on solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, pretty much any piece of technology that makes up a home solar power system. Now, in today's video we're talking about solar batteries. You know, what is a solar battery and how do I know if I need one? Now, when we talk about a solar battery, what we're talking about is a battery storage and an, an, an energy storage unit that interfaces with a home solar power system. Uh, in other words, it's a battery that, that can be charged by your solar panels if you have solar panels on your roof. Uh, and it's a battery that can be drawn from to power loads within your home, uh, appliances within your home. And in many cases, it can also be drawn, drawn from to send excess electricity back to the power company under certain conditions. Now, when would I need a solar battery? There's, there's two main scenarios where you would install a solar battery or you, inst you would install battery storage with your solar power system. The first scenario is if you need emergency backup power, right? If you're looking at solar as a way to protect your home from a grid blackout, then you need a way that you can store some of that solar energy in your home because once the sun goes down, th there's no more solar power coming in directly from the panels, which means that if you wanna keep electricity on to appliances in your home, you're gonna have to have a storage battery. You're gonna have to have a reserve of energy that you can draw from during the evening hours. And then the next day, the solar panels will take over and recharge the battery. And if the system's designed properly, you can repeat that cycle for days or weeks or months at a time, which is why many people, myself included, consider solar with battery storage as the most secure emergency backup power source. Because as long as you have a little bit of sunlight coming in each day, you can, you can run in an off-grid mode sustainably for a prolonged period of time without having to worry about storing gasoline or storing propane or the natural gas service providing uh, fuel to you, the system just renews itself. So that's one area where you would need a storage battery. Um, the other area would be if your utility company does not have a solar buyback program, or maybe they have a buyback program, but they're not really giving you a fair price. You see, back in the day when solar and net metering programs first came about, the power company would essentially allow you to send whatever excess solar was available during daytime hours. You could send it back to the utility They'd give you a full credit for it, and then you can just pull it back in at nighttime so you don't have to worry about storing your own energy uh, in a battery. You could just essentially bank the energy with the power company and then pull it back in the evening when you needed it. However, with the new net metering laws led by California and now a number of other states are following, the power companies are no longer giving you full credit for excess energy that you send them during daytime hours. So what many homeowners choose to do, if, if your goal is to be truly energy independent, is to install your own storage battery. Essentially, you become your own utility. Whatever solar energy you don't need immediately during daytime hours can be charged in your battery. And then during evening hours, you can power your home off the battery instead of having to buy from the power company. And so this helps you to maximize what we call self-consumption. And so the idea is I want to consume as much of my solar electricity as possible and, and, and only use the power company as the last resort. So if it's daytime, I can directly run off solar. Any excess solar that I can collect during daytime hours, I can charge in the battery. And then I run my house off the battery at nighttime, only using the power company as a last resort. If let's say the battery gets too low and I still need a little bit more energy before the sun comes up, okay, I'll pull the extra from the power company. But it really, it really becomes the, the energy provider of last resort in that scenario. So that's the other area where you want to look at a storage battery is when you need to maximize self-consumption self because your power company is not offering a good solar buyback program. And by the way, that, that is the trend right now. So since California put in their new net metering laws, we've seen other states very quickly follow suit, Ohio, North Carolina, um, and, and many others. And so, you know, California, we kind of consider the trendsetter in terms of solar utility policy. 
And so that seems to be the way things are going is the power companies will let you sell back your solar, but they're just not going to give you anywhere near full price credit for it. In California now, it's like four to one ratio. You have to send them four kilowatt hours of energy for every one you can, you can pull back in. So that's why you'd install a storage battery. Now, I know many of you are going to be wondering, well, well how much do these batteries cost? Uh, and the truth of the matter is they're, they're not cheap. And this is one of the reasons why, why most solar homeowners in the past would not install battery storage. It was less than 10%, traditionally less than 10% were installing storage batteries with their solar systems. And the ones that were, were doing it for emergency backup reasons. They weren't doing it because they wanted to get any kind of payback on it because the batteries are, are expensive. Uh, and even some of the best lowest cost batteries today available, you're looking at minimum about $10,000 installed. Although for most home battery systems, you're looking at closer to $15,000 to $20,000 installed on top of what just the base cost of the solar system would be. Now, again, I know you'd like specific pricing, but the pricing is going to vary greatly depending on which battery system you use and which installer, which contractor does the installation for you. Um, I would caution you all not to, to shop for solar and storage uh, solely on cheapest price. Uh, you definitely want to get some quotes to compare. Uh, in fact, if you're in the process right now and you need to get a comparison quote or you need to get an initial price quote on a solar plus storage system, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, uh, set up a call with a solar expert, and we can chat through some options and get some pricing and some information over to you. But this is one of those installations. It, it is a complex technical installation, not one of these things where you want to hire the cheapest contractor in town. You really want to make sure you vet the technical competence and the experience of that contractor, uh, not just the cheapest price quote. But just to give you a ballpark range, uh, I would estimate anywhere between ten dollars to $30,000 above the base cost of just a solar installation is what you would expect to, uh, to pay for a, a home battery storage installation as well. Now again, your needs are going to vary greatly depending on the size of your home, how much energy you're consuming, uh, if you're setting the battery up for backup purposes, uh, there's, there's a question of, am I just backing up a smaller set of the most critical appliances, what we would call the critical loads, uh, or do I want a full whole house backup with air conditioning and stove, clothes dryer and, and, and the works? Obviously going to be a much more, a much larger, much more expensive installation on that end of the spectrum. But if you're wondering which batteries we feel are the best, um, if you haven't seen it already, go back and watch our top five solar battery comparison, uh, where we introduce you to the brands that we consider to be the top five brands at this time and some of the pros and cons of each. Well, folks, this has been a brief discussion on solar batteries and how they work. What purpose do they serve? Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the solar surge videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. If you haven't done so already, that way, as we have new videos, coming out like this it'll come up on your home page in your feed and you can stay up to date with us uh, again folks if you're in the process of looking at solar and battery options for your home and you need to get a price quote as always you can reach out to us on the link below there and happy to get that information over to you well that does it for today's video i thank you all for spending some more time with solar surge as always i'm joe ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.